Hello and welcome my beautiful Virgos. This is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of May the 13th to the 19th. Every card and all the energy in these cards may not resonate with every single Virgo out there, but some of it will. So run with it and take the, and throw the rest out into the universe. So let's see what your general reading has for this week. Starting off, your download message is study. So uh, paying attention, getting in the game, uh, making sure you're mindful of the details, uh, jotting things down, writing things down, logging things and scripting things. Uh, you may be memorizing things. You could be studying some new form of uh, subject where uh, you might be wanting to get uh, graded on it and receive um, a diploma or a credit of some sort as well. But keeping the game, paying attention to details and staying focused this week for sure. Coming in with your first card, you've got timing. And it says, it's all in the timing right now. Pull, and pull another card to see if you need to do it now. Wait a while or make a different decision. So let's see what we have here. This is my new deck. And let's see what you have here with this card. You've got power position. <clears throat> okay, so you are being promoted or called to lead. Time to step into your sovereignty and guide others with compassion. So um, timing's right now for you to do something new. If you've been thinking about wanting to open your own business or step out there solo, this is the right time for you to do it. You're called to lead. You're called to be a leader. So don't be afraid. It's time to step into your, into your power now and make what it is you've got uh, successful. Okay? Um, you don't need to wait a while. This says you're ready to go after something right now. With that card, you've got Two of Cups. Now, it might be a card of partnership. You might be getting together with somebody here in partnership. Excuse me. Well, I just moved these over a little bit because I didn't expect to have to pull another card. There's a couple of cards in this new deck that I'm using uh, that tell you to do that, to get your, your, your reading more clear and concise. So the Two of Cups we know can be partnership in love or in, in, uh, in business. So this is a card that says you're stepping up, you're going to do things that are healthy for yourself, for yourself right now, and you're going to communicate clear and concise as well. When we get the Two of Cups, it's all about communicating. But <clears throat> as I said, this can be somebody special coming into your life. They're about to enter it and want to have a relationship with you. This is about feeling happy with this individual and the connection between you is going to be very special and very rare. You feel as though your cup is filling up now and that this could possibly be a soulmate in business or in a, in a, <clears throat> a romantic relationship. So you're, 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 you're finally seeing that you are in the seat of power now and you're leading your life by compassion here with this individual and t it's a perfect time right because we've got the timing card with it and it's saying that now's the time to take this leap of faith and not be afraid to uh, step forward and accept this partnership in one way or the other. You've got the card adventure and it says you make exciting work moves that could take you outdoors or a trip. You will need to climb steadily to reach your financial goals. Uh, but I think you're going to do that because it's telling me you're climbing the ladder here of success and it's exciting and you love it and it's something that you've been wanting to do for a while and yes it's a hard climb at times but you're reaching a point here where you're going to start to see the rewards uh, coming in for your hard work and effort that you've been applying to something so you're going to be able to celebrate and say yes it was worth all this work uh, I studied hard to get here and now I'm going to see and reap the benefits of success with this coming in so it's a steady climb you're still continuing to see success coming in in one way or the other whether it's a relationship or your job in your career but you are reaching some good financial goals here because of your of you stepping up into that position of power and doing the work going after it so you deserve to take some time here and celebrate something now it could be your your accomplishments you're celebrating but you could also be getting together to celebrate anything uh you know this could this could be a wedding and uh, invitation it could be an engagement the uh, announcement of a birth of a child some sort of party but you definitely want to celebrate something here this week virgo coming in next you've got the guidance card and this is divine forces are showing you the way to go you are discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life so 
getting downloads, getting messages from the universe and the powers that be, source, and from your guides and angels. So this is beautiful. If you've been doubtful here, they're giving you a nudge to say, hey, you've got all the tools you need here. Trust your gut instincts and make sure that you realize that you walk in that light that's illuminating down on you. But you may need to find something out. Trust your gut instincts. If there's something that you need to know, know that guidance is leading you in that direction. Do your research. Find out what it is you need to know so that you're not having to presume and assume and get caught up in an illusion in your head uh, of a, something completely different that really isn't about to happen. So you're discovering another piece of your destiny right now and you're moving forward uh, this uh, purposefully uh, towards your goals this week. So this is amazing. Okay, coming in next, you have the strategy card. You need a step-by-step -step plan of attack to reach the next level. Get the advice of someone who is already where you want to go. So this is really good. You could be getting together here with somebody and uh, collaborating and communicating with them so that you know uh, where you stand and it makes your path a little bit easier. You've got a clearer sight line of the direction you want to go. But you're strategizing and this is planning. This is making a detailed plan step by step. Remember, it, you know, we can liken this to pages. We can liken this to, um, you know, taking, a, <clears throat> you know, to anything here, but taking a slow pace here, step by step moving towards your goals maybe we can liken it to the page or pardon me the knight of pentacles uh, i like to liken these cards to the tarot as well so that you get a full idea of what we're, we're talking about so you know you could be receiving some advice from somebody in the process to help guide you and give you the coping skills and set something up for you so that you know where you're going the two of wands comes in and again this is a card of duality and a card of partnership waiting for your ship to come in but knowing that it can happen you know, when I see this card, I always think that it's not the card that says you're going to go out there alone. You're going to tackle this project or this endeavor or this new thing alone. You're going to be stepping out there and wanting to do something with someone else. And this is what I'm seeing here in this reading. So, you know, when you're caught in an indecision, the only way out is to take off the blindfold and confront the issue. Keep an open mind here, okay? You'll never find a solution if you avoid a problem. So weigh up both logic and gut instincts here and set, you know, and, and know that you have, can make the best decision right now. Okay, so this is about making a choice as well, but I think you're going to be doing it along with somebody else, okay? You could also be planning a trip. You could be wanting to either a business trip or something, um, talking about relocating. Okay, beginning. <clears throat> You've got the beginning for your last card. It's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career. You have creative ideas that get noticed. Build a nest. Build a nest egg for your future. So some of you might be thinking about doing that. <clears throat> you know, even if it's a passive income, sometimes what we have to do is set ourselves up while we're still working <clears throat> and we have <clears throat> a steady income that's keeping, uh, keeping all the bills paid. But on the side, a lot of people have started to do this since we we had that lockdown a few years ago. And they decided that I don't want to get caught again. I don't want to be responsible, uh, you know, not responsible for my own income. Uh, being left out in the cold waiting to see if the world and when it's going to start moving while I'm trying to pay my, my bills and my responsibilities. So there's a new beginning starting. And maybe some of you are contemplating doing that right now. You could be wanting to leave the job you're at for a new one, but you could be starting a whole new career, something different. You might be studying here for something different here to do a different kind of career. Beautiful for your future. Coming in with that, you have the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles is indicative of, <clears throat> you know, of being careful with your money. Uh, you could be um, holding on to something here where you're afraid to move forward, but don't do that. Uh, loosen up on the reins a little bit because I think you're going to find that you're going to be starting a new beginning here. But you're being mindful and conscientious about the money that you're spending. And that's okay. Uh, this is the card of extremes of how much you spend and how much you save. So this is about you, um, you know, holding on to your resources right now so that you've got um, what you need to continue moving forward. If you're starting to open your own business, uh, you're going to have enough in reserve here to keep you going in the meantime. Wow. Well, my beautiful Virgos, this is your reading for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic, healthy, happy, prosperous, successful week to come. Always know I send you lots of love and many blessings and I'll see you soon, my beautiful Virgos.